everyone, I'm Sophia with Awaken Catholic, and this is Awaken the Saints. Jesus said, blessed are the poor, and there are a few saints who better represent this phrase than Saint Isidore the farmer, a humble man who had almost nothing and freely gave away the little he had. Isidore was born in 12th century Spain, the son of a poor peasant couple who gave him the name of their beloved patron saint, Isidore of Seville. The boy was never given an education, but his parents taught him the faith and he learned the joy of living simply. When he was old enough to work, Isidore took a job as a farmer on the property of a wealthy man from Madrid named John de Vergas, a post he would remain in for the rest of his life. In his early adult years, he married Maria, a peasant girl no richer than himself. They had only one son who unfortunately died young, and after this, they took vows of celibacy and had no other children. There isn't actually a lot to say about Isidore's life following his marriage. He was given the title The Farmer, precisely because that's what he did from the day he started his work until the day he died. He was known for his complete lack of ambition and his limitless generosity. Despite being quite poor himself, he gave away even his meals to the less fortunate, often letting them eat and Isidore taking only whatever scraps were left. There are a great many miracles associated with Isidore, though many cases it remains uncertain which were truthfully recorded and which are tall tales invented after he began to be celebrated as a saint. In one story, Isidore's fellow workers complained that he was always late to work because he went to mass every morning. The master in charge investigated this claim and found Isidore praying while an angel did his share of the work. He was also said to till the earth alongside a pair of angels, thus accomplishing three times the work of any of the other men in the field. Other miracle stories tell of the multiplication of food. In one of these, Isidore brought home a crowd of hungry poor, and his wife, after emptying the stew pot, said there was not enough to feed them all. At Isidore's prompting, she looked again at the pot and miraculously found it full enough for everyone present to eat. Another similar story reveals Isidore's great love for animals. One winter, he was carrying a bag filled with corn to have it ground into flour. He happened upon a group of birds looking for food, and he opened the sack, dispensing half of the corn for them. The people walking with him chastised him for wasting food, but when he arrived at the mill, the remaining corn produced twice the usual amount of flour. In total, over 400 miracles were attributed to Isidore. The popular devotion to him resulted in the eventual canonization in 1620 by Pope Gregory the 15th. God provides for those who trust in him. Isidore lived his life day to day, doing honest work and giving to others whenever he had the chance. He wasn't educated or particularly talented, but he knew that God would do with his life what was meant to be done. And there were probably days when he was exhausted or hungry even, but he was happy regardless because he recognized just how much he already had and didn't dwell on what he lacked. Saint Isidore the farmer, pray for us.